What is up, you two? So, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give y'all story time. As you can tell by the title, the story is about a time that I picked a lock in the fifth grade. I know y'all thinking in y'all hair right now. You did not pick no lock. Or, nah, you lying. You just want something to say. Or blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, I really did. So anyway, let's go way back. So it was the fifth grade, right? And then, mind you, in fifth grade, you're just bored. You don't have nothing to do. So I had this friend. Her name was... Her name was Ashtray. <laughs> so I had this friend named Ashtray. <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name because y'all don't need to know her name. But I had this friend named Ashtray. And we used to always like stay. We used to like, okay, so our our classroom, so this is our class, right? It's the front door. So you walk in the front door, and then back here was a back door. And that's the back door was what we always used to go out to recess. So me and Ashtray used to always put a stick right there because we didn't want to go out to recess. We wanted to stay inside, sit on the bean bags, you know. We wanted to be on the computer. We didn't want to go out. So when everybody would go back, we'll go out, we'll go out to the yard of recess and then we'll come back, open up the door because that little tiny stick, you know, it didn't close the door all the way basically. So dang, me and Ashtray kept on doing this. We kept on doing it to, you know, we were just thugging. And the teacher never caught us. So one day, me and Ashtray, we decided, dang, we should do this on a weekend, you know, come here for the, on the weekend. And then, so we did it, right? For some, we put it, it was a Friday, we put it right there, and I think we came back on a Sunday. It was a Sunday when we came back. You came back, and then um, we tried to open up the door. I guess the the janitor caught on or some somebody caught on, but they moved that stick. So we tried to open up the door. We couldn't open up the door. So we was like, dang, that stick not right there no more or whatever. So we just looking for stuff open the door. We tried pencils, you know. And then mind you, our school door. So so this is the lock, right? This is the lock. This is the a thing covering. So you have to you have to go under to pick the lock. So we just kept. We had pencils. We had anything with sticks anything that we could find and then boom i seen a paper clip right by the door so i picked up the paper clip and you know how you unfold a paper clip and it turns to a s i picked that up and then so i started you know putting it under and going like that to it like basically to push the lock back and then um it didn't open the first time then I unstraightened it. So now I got a straight edge and then the S part. Now I do it again three times. And all I heard was. We looked at each other. We was like, ah, the door just opened, all that stuff. So we were saying, you the girl, all that stuff. And you this, you that. We was just so happy. And then, um, and then, so we got in the classroom, right? Now we just doing everything that we do on a school day except for work. So we on the computers, mind you. When you at my school, you have to. When I was in the fifth grade, you have to log in on the computers to get on the computer, you know, to play any games or anything. So we on the computers with our login. We on the computers. We on the bean bags. We we eating goldfish that my uh, teacher had. We eating candy that she had. Um. Oh, and my teacher had these brain brain erasers. And you only could get a brain eraser if you knew the answer to a question or if he was being good or something. And we never got a brain eraser. So we was like, we don't need no brain. We don't need to get no answers right to get this brain eraser and all that stuff. So then, um, you know, we got, we had our brain eraser. Oh, we had lead pencils. Y'all, I know. Now, let me know in the comments below. Y'all remember them pencils when they first came out, the ones with the click right there and then the, um, um, the eraser was a, a turn. Yes, them pencils right there. Y'all know what I'm talking. I'm gonna put a picture right there. Them put them pencils right there is what we had got because we thought they was just so popular and you know we wanted to be cool. So we got them pencils. And then you know we started getting bored because now we didn't read through the whole classroom. <gasps> oh my god. I hope nobody <laughs> the school that I go to never see. Anyway. 
we started so we started getting bored like we just we did everything that you know we just came in here to chill or whatever and then people used to always go up to the school um on like saturdays and sundays you know climb on a roof and all that type of stuff so anyway so we about to leave we um i think she opened up the door when she opened up the door it was like a it sounded like a fire alarm Our hearts just dropped to our stomach, and then like so, there's this big old field in the back of our school with tall, um, blonde grass or wheat, whatever you call that. And we was just running to it, running. We was just running, running, running. So now we hiding because the lady who, who's the school named after, who owns the school, she lives in the same apartment as us. So we just we could see her, and she like this. Oh my God, when I tell you my heart was in my stomach, I could not. And then, I, we was making a plan, we was like, hey, this is what we gonna do. When she turn her back, when she go back in the house or whatever, we just gonna run for our life, we just gonna run. And we just, like, run across the street to back to the apartment. So then, oh, I know y'all say, how's the apartment? Okay, so we have, like, these apartments right here, right? And then, we, a whole apartment complex. You have to walk through the whole apartment complex apartment complex and in the back of the apartment complex all right y'all so i had run out of storage but i'm back so in the back of the apartment complex was a school you have to walk through the whole apartments and get to get to your school so we was just in bushes hiding we was like when we not in bushes but in the tall grass we was like when we um when she turned her back when she going out we just gonna run run back to the apartment so we just start running when she turned her back we just start running phone was in my back pocket I dropped my phone I was like man I can't go back and get it because I don't want to get caught <laughs> my, 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 mind you my mom didn't know nobody knew we was just being bad it was a premeditated I'm joking but um we my phone dropped and I did not want to go back to get it so when we got across the street back to the apartment complex we went to this girl house now I'm gonna say her name because nobody knows her her name is Alicia we went to Alicia's house we, I remember we changed, she gave us um, change of clothes and everything. We changed our clothes, you know, try to act like, you know, nothing never happened. Okay. So then, um, so then I seen this boy that I knew. His name Chair, because I'm not saying his real name. So Chair, I said, Chair, hey, um, can you go back to the school? I, I dropped my phone. He was like, what would you do at school? I'm like, don't worry. I was like, can you go back to school? I dropped my phone. It's like right there when you enter the school. Um, X, Y, Z. I was like, I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to give you a dollar when you go back. He was like, all right. And he, mind you, he was like a look. He was little, but he was probably in the fourth grade. I was in the fifth. So, yeah. Um, anyway, he went back to go get my phone. I got my phone. And then, um, next thing you know, so we go to sleep. We just talk. We, me and my friend are going to talk. We like, oh my gosh, um, we ain't never doing that again so scared all that stuff and then we go to school the next day mind y'all remember when i told y'all to be in the story that me and my friend logged in on the computers with our login we go back to school and then next you know i feel this i did i did one of those the teacher said um she like, can you step outside with me? And I was like, yeah. She was like, was that you and Ashtray um, at the school on the weekend? And then I was like, no. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, but I was just like, nah, that was, nah. I didn't know she was at. I was at my grandma's house. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I was just saying, I was, I just kept denying it. No, I, that was not us or whatever. And I guess they pulled her out. She said the same thing. That wasn't us, no. But I, I figured they already knew, because why would they come to us too? They already knew. We loved our login. But they forgived us or whatever. We never got in trouble for it. Um, Nothing ever happened. But we know that they know. That we know. That they did know what we did. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That would happen. That's how I picked the lock in the fifth grade. And if y'all don't believe me, if y'all don't believe me, I'm going to have to get somebody's phone to call up the girl and just, what are we doing in fifth grade? But, anyway, 
thanks for watching this story time um if y'all like my story times i will be doing more if y'all request it because i have a lot of stories um thanks for watching like comment and subscribe um turn on your post notifications um just so love tell your mama your granny your uncle your brother your sister your everybody just tell everybody about me i'm out bye Oh. <laughs> no, I'm out, y'all. Bye.